Welcome to StockMarketFunding.com. We're reviewing some live trades with our SMF Pro Trading staff uh, who are in our uh, Pro Trading School. And the thing about it is, uh, using our mathematical uh, Pro Trading system, never been revealed to the public, but this is what they use all day. And on the opening bell, we went long. Uh, we went long. This is the opening bell. This is the first high that was put in on the day. So let me show you what we did. On the opening bell, the first 20 minutes or first half an hour, there's a lot of open orders from the previous day, electronic orders that get hit the market. They hit it right on the open. Buy to cover short, uh, sell stops, you know. They all get triggered right here on the open and that's what the volatility of the open is. So the wholesale bid was down here for the SMF trader. We had an entry. We had pulled back within that mathematical bid and ask and consolidated the double bottom. We broke right up and we still refused. The seller could never get control here. So the SMF Pro Trader is what they did was they tra traded big shares on this breakout right here. Here's where the entry was. This is the consolidation. All of the SMF Pro Trader indicators naturally at that time, uh, which are mathematical indicators down here, CCI, MACD, that's the blue lines, you know, I'm not going to go into the tape. What I am going to go in is how they made the money, okay? And basically, they had a nice breakout, and we started ascending, and that means a consolidation. We shook down. We got the wholesale entry. We traded it, we held through here, we added to the breakout. That was the peak. And let me identify the peak of a, a right side trend. It's a right side move. And what I want all the SMF Pro Trading students to know is why they made that money. And that's the up bar. You can see the volume down here. You can see the rise here and lots of other things were happening. Minute period movement averages were breaking out. So was 20 minutes. The thing about our traders is this is an ascending breakout right here. And from that breakout, the confirmation, this is the beginning of the move here in the third bar. These are three minute bars, three, six, nine here. This bar right here is the, uh, the bar that's the important one because that's the confirmation bar right there. And when this low doesn't break that high, bam, and that's where we sold. So basically, entries were made at about 140, was 145.52. And basically, we took it right up to the swing high top. And here's what you need to know. The move in the bar right here, okay, the low of the bar was 145.57. The previous bar was uh, right down in there where you could get hit up to 52 penny mark. So, from this bar right here, from this bar, and notice that the bar has got more buyers in it than the last two bars. This bar is the breakout bar. The big up bar, this is where the move started. They gapped the price right here. This is called a level two, direct access trading. 99% of the people really don't know what goes on in here between the prices. There's mathematical equations that market makers work with and all kinds of things. But here, so we pop up and the, the low of the bar, here's what the traders made. 145.57 and selling into the high of the bar. That's 147.35. That was a nice move. 1,000 shares, about $1,600, $1,700. 500 shares, about six and a half, seven hundred. 700. That's what it's about for the SMF Pro Trader who's in the Pro Trading School, okay? And they're learning that there is more to the market than just the market. They're learning that market makers are the one that control the markets and SMF has a market maker school. So basically, you know, what I would like to tell everyone that was involved in these trades today that these were nice breakouts. Was one of our new guys that just joined in the school was able to get a secondary breakout. That was breakout one. They pulled it back right here and tested half of the SMF Pro Trader bar and we continued to break to that high. There was another trade, meaning that the SMF Pro Trader bar was the bar. There was not a closing price below that bar. And we went up, 
we tested this little and once again a little sending move with the up bar and another trade to the top one of our new students also got the short as it slipped went short popped it up didn't close below half of that bar that meant that the pro traders learn as long as I'm below half of that bar I added to my short and I made a bigger move this low here here that was the first low from the short that's where they uh, people were buying to cover market makers were walking the bid up but notice that half of the pro trader bar could never have a closing price above it with the distribution bar so let's take a look at the distribution channel for our pro traders who traded it that bar right there as soon as that bar broke you get these long wicks in price these are wiggles and jiggles but the key of it is 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 that they went short and they got this move right here the high of the bar was 47.63 the final low peak of that bar is uh, 45.96 that's a nice move down so now you've added more revenue by knowing how to short the move this is how it's done and all the other indicators that pro traders work with well weakness happened here three minute sell signal here everything went the way that it should 10 minute crossed over the 20 the wider it got the weaker the move got then it turned and the 10 minute started to rise in price and you crossed over the 20 was flat and there was just uh, some of these bars right here that's 76 pennies that bar right there was 47 pennies you popped up you faded back but here's what they did they use the SMF pro trader bar right there 